what's good? What's going on? What's your issue, girl? Somebody it's time for another video, okay? We finished to watch some uh some powerful animals, okay? Before I get into depth on what we talking about, catch this intro. <laughs> Alright, so look here. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? We finished to check out a video. Shout out to the Fanatic. I believe that's what it's called. Yes. Shout out to the Fanatic. This is 15 most powerful African uh, animals. Now, listen. We haven't reacted to an animal vid in so long, bro. I just feel like it was overdue. So we finished to check it out. Before we do that, I need you to do what's on the screen. Show some love to the vid. Subscribe. Notifications. No, no, come over to Twitch and show some love as well. You see the chat booming, busting over there to the left. You know what I'm saying? We having a good time. But with that being said, let's check out this video, man. It's about 18 minutes long. Let's get into it. 15 most powerful African animals. Sheesh. Let's get it. Many powerful animals from the African God damn. Continent. Wait a minute. 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 Yo, I love learning about animals. I just feel like it's an experience. But did an elephant just take out a whole fucking tree, bro? Did an elephant just take out a whole... Many powerful... This nigga just pushed down a tree. What did you even push it down for? Just because? Just because? ...animals roam the African savanna. Some scarier than others. How dangerous do you think a pack of wild dogs is? What about baboons? If you want to meet some formidable animals, stay tuned as we count down the 15 most powerful African animals. He got it, he got it. Number 15, Cape Buffalo. The most remarkable thing about Cape Buffaloes is that they're so dangerous, they're known as the Black Death. These what? magnificent beasts are one of the five most- Okay, so listen, I love shit like this because chat if you were here like a couple of months ago we found out hippos are fucking op okay that type of shit i love watching okay so the fact that a buffalo is number 15 is really throwing me for a loop right now i'm ready to see some shit you know what i'm saying like bro and the thing is chat i've been listening to some shit on a radio and it was like um which animal can hold their breath the longest and it like one of the one of the 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 choices were a buffalo. Uh, I mean, it was a, a a hippo. And I'm like, bro, only if niggas knew how powerful hippos were, they would pick hippo. It was like, what animal can hold the breath the longest? A dolphin, a sea otter, a sloth, or a hippo? I'm like, nigga, it's a hippo. Hippos literally run underwater. They do not swim. They run underwater, so they have to be holding their breath for a hot ass minute, bro. Like, there's just no way. It's difficult you know what I'm saying? But niggas don't know that. Fair, according to Big but we Game do. Hunters. The other four members are the African lion, leopard, African elephant, and rhinoceros. Although the Cape Buffalo kills more big game, hunt. God damn! Yo, did you just see what it did to that lion? And leopard, African elephant, and rhinoceros. Although the Cape Buffalo kills more. Yo, this nigga. Oh my god. More big game hunters than the other four animals combined. Although the Cape Buffalo is a herbivorous bovine, effectively a plant-eating cow, it is aggressive and spiteful. There are several reports of them using their legendary memories and incredible perseverance Yo. to wreak retribution on hunters who shoot at or damage them, displaying perhaps a bit more intelligence than the standard bovine. Hunting groups have been stalked by Cape Buffalo, who have hidden in wait and ambushed their pursuers. Yo. Thousands of people are said to be charged each year, with the points of their massive, curving horns or by head butting with their boss a thick horn shield that surrounds the skull where the horns emerge. They may attack and cause considerable injury. The largest males can weigh up to 2,000 pounds and stand 6 feet tall at the shoulder. It takes about 10 Boy... 6 feet? 2,000 pounds? Nah, bro. That's a buffalo. And it's number 15. Bruh. 10 years to achieve full size. Large predators rarely attack fully developed buffalo, but frail adults and calves are prey for lions. Attacking any individual of a Cape Buffalo herd is dangerous even for a big pride of lions. Many lions have succumbed to the Cape Buffalo's lethal horns, and herd Shit. members would rush to one another's rescue. Number 14, Lion. 
The oh lion is a God. huge muscular cat with short legs and a long body and is often referred to as the king of the jungle. The size and look of males and females differ significantly. The male's most distinguishing feature is his mane, which differs between individuals and communities. It can be completely absent, fringed around the face, or full and shaggy covering the back of the head, neck and shoulders, and going across the throat and chest to join a fringe along the belly. The mane and fringe of certain lions are extremely dark, practically black, giving the animal a magnificent aspect. Males with manes appear larger, which can be used to intimidate rivals or impress potential mates. Okay. A fully grown adult reaches around 3.5 feet tall at the shoulder and weighs 370 to 500 pounds. Lions eat a wide range of animals, from mice and baboons to Cape Buffalo and hippos, although they prefer to hunt medium to large sized hoofed animals like wildebeest, zebras, and antelopes. Sheesh. Geographically, as well as between nearby prides, prey choices differ. Elephants and giraffes have been known to be taken by lions, but only when they are young or unwell. They devour any flesh that they can get their paws on, including carrion and new kills scavenged from hyenas, cheetahs, and wild dogs. Wait, I did not know lions eat hyenas. So what the fuck do... So they... Them niggas ain't friends? So they ain't friends, chat? I could have sworn lions and hyenas was friends. They be beefing? Damn. Damn, I ain't even know that, bro. Have you seen The Lion King? I mean, yeah, but like... I know it was real life beef. Like, I, I thought it might be just Lion King beef, but now nah, these niggas really be beefing, beefing. Fox. Lionesses who live in open savannas conduct most of the hunting, while males often eat from the females' kills. Male lions, on the other hand, are skilled hunters and often hunt in some locations. In scrub or woodland habitat, pride males spend less time with the ladies and hunt most of their own food. Okay. Male nomads must always be self sufficient in terms of food. No one likes to tangle with a lion because it is a fearless animal. Bex. Number 13. Spotted Hyenas So hyenas are higher up on the chain than lions though? That's that's throwing me for a loop. Simba, have you watched Lion King Hyenas Corners? Like, but like, yeah, but like, it was like a, a evil good type thing. It wasn't like a I'ma eat this nigga type thing. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like 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 yo like I'm hungry. It was just like, you know what I'm saying for the for the 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 for the movie. So wait, these niggas are higher up on the food chain than the lions. Hyenas uh. are more than the Lion King's carrion eating baddies. What? Even if you don't fall in love with these smart creatures, it's difficult not to admire them. Hyenas don't just cackle for the sake of it. According to scientists, the pitch and frequency of a hyena's laugh might indicate its age and social position. What? Hyenas and lions frequently compete for the same areas in prey. As a result, the two creatures compete ferociously. They steal each other's food and slaughter their enemy's young. Spotted hyenas don't merely scavenge for lion scraps, unlike what Simba would have you believe. Hyenas with spots. Hey, shout out for... Hey, thank you for the shout out, my boy. You know what I'm saying? You ain't have to name drop, but I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Simba, that's me. That's it's me, nigga. Listen, listen. It's me, nigga. It's me, nigga. Simba, it's me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You ain't had to shout me out, but like, I didn't know that, bro. Like, movies literally subliminally hint at some shit, but like, I really did not know that. That's crazy. Hunts and killing groups. Striped hyenas, on the other hand, are a different matter. Striped hyenas devour carrion and are frequently hit by vehicles while doing so. It's understandable that many people dislike hyenas because of their reputation as scavengers and their mm. unsettling laughter. Okay. Number 12. Elephants. Elephants have a massive physique. That nah, elephants are deadass OP, bro. Like, you really gotta be, you gotta be a beast of a nigga to take an elephant down. I swear. That's why the niggas, I feel like people who be hunting for sport, I feel like you a bitch. You hear me? Nig you niggas that hunt for sport and shoot these fucking elephants from a distance, you a bitch. Word on God. Because if you seen that elephant and that thing up on you, you was getting smushed like a motherfucking penny, my nigga. You gotta shoot that bitch from a distance. Because you not taking on it, bruh. I just wanna, I wanna see an elephant. I wanna touch an elephant. I wanna touch an elephant. 
because like I just feel like they're so fucking goaded and so like I would I would love the fuck out of an elephant, bro. I really would. I really would. And you niggas that be fucking shooting these for sport, you don't eat elephant, you don't do none of that. You just shoot the shit. I want to fight all of y'all niggas. Square up. Between three and seven tons, and not many animals will mess Square with up. elephants, oh including God. lion prides, unless they have no other choice. They are capable of uprooting large trees Yo. from the ground. A big cat can be severely injured by a single hit with its trunk. God Despite damn. its bulk, it has a top speed of 30 to 40 kilometers per hour. An elephant never travels alone, preferring to travel in groups. As a result, an attack on one elephant alerts the other elephants. Attacking an elephant appears to be a near impossible task. Making an elephant angry is the last thing you want to do. When an elephant becomes agitated, it will go after you no matter what it takes. Damn. They're normally quiet animals, but if you annoy them, you better run quicker than the speed of light. Since Damn. an enraged elephant can sprint very quickly and squash you like an ant if he catches up to you. Number 11. Silverback Gorilla Gorillas are the largest primates on the planet. It's difficult to gauge a gorilla's true strength, although estimates range from 4 to 10 times that of an average. Hey, listen. Bro, I saw a gorilla when I went to Vegas. And I just knew this nigga wanted to beat everybody's ass. Y'all ever look at an animal cage and be like, bro, I'm sorry that these niggas got you locked up. Like when I went to when I went to Vegas, they had like a, a like a small exhibit in the back of my hotel. Like they had dolphins, they had lions, tigers, they had uh Gorilla, like, bro, they literally had animals back in my hotel. That was crazy. But, like, you just know, like, yo, if you get out of here, you gonna beat the shit out of me, bro. And I seen it, bro. Like, I literally looked a gorilla in the face and was like, yo, if this nigga get out, he will beat bricks off me, bro. It was a good time. And I felt bad there was a white lion in there or a white tiger. I can't remember. But it was pacing back and forth. You know what I'm saying? And when they pace back and forth, they're in distress. Like, literally, there was one that was pacing back and forth for, like, two hours. But you just know these niggas will beat the shit out of you on, on God. On Person. God. The strength of a silverback gorilla is unrivaled. Gorillas can easily rip down banana trees, have escaped from cages by Listen. bending the iron bars, and have a bite force of roughly 1,300 PSI, no. which is double that of a lion. But except for silverback fights... Gorillas are gentle giants who rarely show their full strength. Bro, I saw this video and somebody was like, somebody was like, somebody stop them. Stop them. Bitch, listen, you you get in between two gorillas. You, you, you go stop them. Get in this, get in this exhibit and stop these two gorillas from fighting, please. Show, tell me how that worked. How you gonna stop them? How you going? You ever seen this original video? The original audio of this current video? Somebody's like, oh my God, somebody should stop them. You do it. I want to see you try. Try to stop these two fucking will do These two big ass motherfuckers. Stop them from fighting. You do it. Do that and then let me know. Do that and then let me know. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I don't know where the fuck that came from. An average person. But I, I went the strength of the silverback gorilla is unrivaled. Gorillas can easily rip down banana trees, have escaped from cages by bending the iron bars, and have a bite force of roughly 1,300 PSI, OD, which is double that of a lion. But except for silverback fights, gorillas are gentle giants who rarely show their full strength. Hell no. They're also formidably different from humans, making them better climbers and more suited to walking on all fours. That means that judging their strength by human standards is pointless, because they wouldn't be able to accomplish some of the actions we take for granted, since they balance so differently. Gorillas have been recorded making over 25 different sounds, demonstrating their intelligence and outstanding communication abilities. Gorillas are primarily herbivores, Crazy. eating bamboo, fruit, and leafy vegetation. The western lowland gorillas also consume small insects. Adult gorillas can consume up to 30 kilograms of food each day. Damn. Number 10, Leopard. Leopards are not only scary and beautiful, but they are also courageous and tough. Leopards, unlike most animals, do not flee and hide when they are injured. Instead, they grow more aggressive and hence more deadly. They're quick and vicious. I wanna, I, I, now I wanna go to a zoo. That's how I feel right now. It's 10 p.m. on 7-21, July 21st. Now I wanna go to a zoo. And they've been known to attack humans for no reason other than a midnight feast. 
Leopard assaults on humans are most common at night in near villages. What? Leopards have been known to break into human homes at night and attack the occupants as you they sleep. You broke into my house? Oh, Several no, deadly assaults have also occurred in zoos and houses where leopards are kept as pets. Leopards are significantly smaller than lions and tigers. They can conceal and creep into places where lions and tigers cannot. You can literally hide a leopard under your own average sized house bed. Despite their diminutive stature, they're extremely powerful animals capable of killing humans. They're significantly more covert and stealthier than lions and tigers, owing to their size, and they tend to hide when they see lions or tigers. In addition, unlike lions and tigers, they are adept tree climbers who can ascend human-made rooftops. This makes them extremely difficult to locate and dispatch. What? Let's not forget that while the leopard is much stronger and braver than its cheetah cousin, as well as strong enough to take on prey larger than itself, what? it can only fight off an attacking tiger or lion in order to defend itself or protect its young. Leopards are the smallest of the panthera genus, weighing between 31 and 77 kilograms, while lions weigh between 130 and 190 kilograms, what? and tigers, the largest of all felines, weigh between 170 and 320 kilograms. Number 9. Wild Dogs Wild dogs live in a close-knit social group of 2 to 27 individuals. They have a solid bond. They'll even look after injured members of the pack and feed them till they're well again. Damn. The average litter size of a wild dog is 10 puppies, the most of any candid. Only the dominant male and I didn't know that was a thing. I thought they were just like a, a breed of hyenas. But nah, these niggas is dead ass like wild dogs. Hey, I remember that episode of Walking Dead where this fucking dog was fucking with me? Them wild dogs, bro. Once your dog is in the wild too long, it might be clipped, bro. There's no there's no home training for that nigga, bro. Listen, a leopard hid in someone's basement once? Deadass? Deadass? That's crazy, bro. And female breed and other adults assist in the rearing of the pups. Wild dogs have a higher success rate when it comes to killing prey than lions and leopards. Oh, what? Despite their smaller size. They have a higher success rate for kills of lions and fucking what? What? They're dogs, my nigga. They are dogs and they have a higher success rate of kills. Listen, listen. They hunt at dawn and night as a group and can take down considerably larger animals such as antelope and wildebeest. The vocalization of a wild dog differs significantly thought, from those of a- But I literally thought these niggas was technically hyenas. Are they not? I thought the- I literally thought- They're wild dogs, but I literally thought they were technically hyenas. Domestic dog. They greet each other with twittering and whimpering sounds. As if one dog becomes separated from the pack, it will make an owl-like hoot call to locate the others. Look at the wild ears. Wild dogs may bro, run at speeds of the 44 bro. miles per hour and cover an area of more than 770 square miles. When caring for a litter of pups, they stay closer to their dens. Number eight, rhino. Oh yeah, rhinos Fucking are rhinos enormous are monsters, deadly. and an adult rhinos rhino would normally take a deadly. couple lions to kill. A single lion would almost probably They're fail like to kill an adult tanks. rhinoceros that is fully grown and healthy. Fortunately for lions, they typically hunt in packs. If a huge group of lions set their mind on killing an adult rhino, I believe they have a decent chance of succeeding. But there's also a good chance they won't. A group of lions would most likely not view a healthy adult rhino as a feasible food option due to the risk involved. Lions, like most big cats, are cautious and would seek food elsewhere if they were hungry. In a fight with lions, the rhino will not back down and will chase the felines Damn. until they stop the hunts. During rhino hunts, several lions have been hurt, yet the rhino remains- They're like little tanks with a fucking big ass just- It's like jousting. You're literally jousting a fucking uh, animal with literally just a sword attached to itself. Nah, I'm strong good. opponents, often defeating the lion. Rhinos have a tough skin, so it takes a lot of biting for one lion to start injuring another. The rhino has a plenty of time to gather before charging the felines, whose final wish is to have their bodies pierced by the rhino's enormous horn. Sheesh. Rhinos will also stand their ground against hippos and any other dangerous animals. Hey, you heard hippos, right? Number seven, crowned eagle. In its native Africa. Hey, did we watch that together? Yo, I literally learned with y'all. I don't know if we we watched it together or I watched it separately. That Falcons, they literally punch, my nigga. So Smash Bros, when they say Falcon punch, that shit is not cap. These niggas dead ass punch. They don't use, Falcons don't use their claws because their claws are weak. They dead ass 
punch, my nigga. They turn their bodies into little torpedoes and punch their prey. I yo, that shit was the wildest shit I've ever seen. I swear to God, like the fact that falcon punches are actually real. I think I saw it. I don't know what the hell the falcon punched, but I saw it, bro. And I was like, yo, they literally. So, they their their fucking claws are weak. They can't really grab shit. So they ball their fist up and fly at a fucking thing and punch it to death. There's no fucking bro. Like I just I just I just never I never knew that until the other day. And that is the wildest shit. Like they literally like Falcon Punch is not a fake. That shit is a hundred percent real. And that is a move in nature, bro. I, that shit blew my fucking mind, bro. Falcons be rocking shit. Yo, these niggas is like Mike Tyson in the ring. On oh, God. On oh, God. Like, what the fuck in my... What What just... What happened? Like, I, I think I, I watched the video on Twitter. And, like, he punched that nigga so fast. Like, even in slow-mo, you could not see the Falcon punch Whatever the fucking punch. You had to slow it. You had to slow it down in two times and then slow it down again in order to see the falcon punch, whatever the fucking punch. That shit was crazy. The crown eagle is renowned as the leopard of the skies and is the deadliest bird of prey for mammals. Wow. Their diet consists primarily of mammals, with small deer like species and small primates such as monkeys wow. serving their primary food. Crown eagles hunt in the same way that leopards do. They use stealth to get near their target, then accelerate at fast speeds towards it. They appear elegant and lovely at times. They are violent and frightening one moment and friendly the next. What? Some eagles seize and carry their prey. Crowned eagles go for the kill right away. They hit the back of the neck or sometimes the skull with a killing strike, just like Yo, leopards. Nah, this is different, Crowned bro. eagles prefer to hunt around dawn or dusk. Their talons are so powerful, they can smash a 30 kilogram antelope's head. They can snap the spine of an animal up to seven times its weight in one swoop. What? On impact, such razor sharp talons frequently kill victims. If not, the animal will either die of asphyxiation or succumb to its injuries. A what? crown eagle can be cruel at times, ramming its talons into the prey's skull, aiming directly for the brain. Number six. A hippo. hippo. A fucking hippo, chat. We know, bro. A hippo, we fucking know, my nigga. Hippos are different, Despite bro. its intimidating appearance, the hippo is one of Africa's most underappreciated creatures in terms Hippos of its fearlessness and potentially different. violent disposition. We know, chat. Listen, we in this chat. We fucking know hippos PR team is OD because you would have never thought these motherfuckers are as deadly as they are, bro. Hippos are one of Africa's largest animals and they aren't known for being cheerful. Hippos kill more people in Africa each year than lions, leopards, crocodiles, and any other significant lions, predator. Lions, leopards, cro bro. The most critical necessity for a hippo is a constant source of water. Hippos conserve a significant amount of energy by being in the water. Because the water retains their enormous barrel-like bodies, bro. they don't need to eat as much as they would otherwise. Hippos can stay submerged for up to six minutes because they can keep water out by closing their nostrils and ears. Bruh. While a hippo can walk on the bottom of rivers and dams. They literally, literally, chat, literally, bruh. These niggas, they do not swim. When you see a hippo coming at you, it's running underwater. They're not swimming. They are fucking coming at you. They're like this, like these. Boom. I'm coming, nigga. Uh, it's me, nigga. Like, they are coming at you, bro. It's not a swim. It's not a, 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 you know what I'm saying? No, these niggas are running underwater. They're built different, bro. I swear to you, bro. Once I saw that Tear Zoo video, bro, it was over, bro. I never trust the hippos the Closing same. their nostrils and ears. While a hippo can walk on the bottom of rivers and dams, they're ungainly on land. Bruh. Hippopods can contain anything from 2 to 200 animals, Bruh. although the average is 7 to 15. Bulls are very grumpy and intolerant of one another, and their sharp teeth slice even young bulls on the head and shoulders. Dominant bulls usually express their dominance with wide mouth yawns that reveal their powerful canine Bruh. teeth, as well as a lot of grunting. Their lower canines have been transformed into Hippo. massive tusks that can reach 30 oh, to 50 God. centimeters in length. Their teeth are weapons of defense, and hippos have been known to bite a 3 meter crocodile in half. <sighs> Number 5. Baboons Baboons are among the most what? easily recognizable monkeys. They have huge hairless buttocks that can turn red, and tufts of hair on either side of their faces. What? These old world monkeys also lack prehensile tails, which means they don't utilize their tails as hands like other monkeys. When they feel threatened or have been socialized to link humans with food, they can turn dangerous. What? Large male baboons will guard the other members of their troop. So if you approach them too closely, a large male may appear and stand between you and the others. 
When adult baboons locate leopard and lionkins unattended by adults, they are known to kill them. It may seem terrible to us, but if this baboon kills a predator, it knows the rules will be reversed in two years if the lion gets its opportunity. Mature male Kakma baboons have a fearsome defense and may attack predators with their enormous sharp canine teeth, which can critically damage predators as formidable as leopards. And despite not being immune to predation, adult males are the least vulnerable members of the baboon family. Wow. Number four, crocodile. Crocodiles are ambush predators that wait for fish or land animals to approach Damn. before attacking. Damn! Oh my god, yo, do you see? Bro, that's a whole... Crocodiles are ambush hog. predators that wait for fish or land animals. Yo, that's a whole hog. Animals to bro, just one second off, that nigga would have been finished, bro. That nigga would have been finished, bro. Approach before. Yo. And these niggas just be playing with crocodiles like they some kids or something. Attacking. Crocodiles devour a variety of animals, including fish, amphibians, crabs, Facts. mollusks, birds, reptiles, and mammals, Yo. as well as smaller crocodiles. Crabs, mollusks, birds, reptiles, and mammals, as well as smaller crocodiles. Nah, this this nigga sent a lion in full panic mode. Ain't no way. Crocodiles have morphological traits that make them effective predators. They're known for ambushing their victim while hiding in plain sight. Crocodiles can move quickly oh over short distances God. on land and in the water. That aids their ability to hunt prey. The crocodile's exceptionally powerful jaws are responsible for the world's strongest bite. These two traits, together with the animal's capacity to hold its breath for extended periods of time, make it an ideal predator for hunting large terrestrial mammals. Crocodiles in Africa usually must compete with lions, tigers, and leopards for food, territory, and life. Sure, the cats, as the ultimate apex predators, are big and strong enough to take on even a large crocodile, but whether they meet on land or in water usually determines the outcome of the fight. Number 3. Black Mamba The Black Mamba is not the type of snake Yo. with which you would want- Shout out Kobe, RIP that man, you know what I'm saying, Black Mamba. I ain't even- I ain't gonna hold you, I never heard about these snakes, bro. To watch the after school special. This is one of the world's most dangerous snakes. It's a long snake that can reach lengths of up to 15 feet. The black mamba lives on the African continent and is the world's second longest snake. When the next black mamba embarks, it's it's next to the anaconda, right? I think the anaconda are the world's largest snake. If I'm not mistaken, yo, I wouldn't mind watching the movie Anaconda with y'all, but like, shit, bro. Works on the hunts. Get out of the way. Don't hide in the trees and don't try to flee for your life because the black mamba will locate you and hunt you down. Because it contains so many elements, the venom of the black mamba reminds me of some of the great Italian cuisine. The only difference is that Italian food tastes excellent and doesn't kill you, whereas mamba venom is highly toxic and includes a potent cocktail of lethal neurotoxins that will cause agonizing symptoms quickly and ideally bring you to nirvana in 20 minutes. As a result of all this, the black mamba is regarded as one of the world's most dangerous snakes. Fortunately, it does not seek out humans. If you don't trouble it, it won't pay attention to you. Nevertheless, if you bother it, this snake won't need a lawyer's help. It will take care of everything by itself. Number 2. Emperor Scorpion The Emperor Scorpion is one of the world's largest scorpions, measuring up to 7.9 inches in length and weighing- Nah, see, listen, chat. I promise you, I would pass out. If I see one of these bitches climbing next to me, I'm passing out. You don't even gotta strike me with your venom. Just go ahead and take me away, bro. I'm I'm done. I'm done. I am done. Uh, you bro, I just keep, like bro. When I see like multiple videos of people with scorpions like around them, like I am done. I am done. Like I get yo, get me the fuck up out of here, bro. So there really is a scorpion king. There gotta be, bro. There gotta be. This nigga is number two on the list, chat. He's number two! Weighing an average of one ounce. They have eight legs, one for each portion of their bodies. Black is the color of the body. When exposed to ultraviolet light, they fluorescence blue or green. The tail that coils back over the body is where the stinger is tipped. Its stinger is crimson in hue. Its tail is covered- I got it. See, I'm a Scorpio chat. You know what I'm saying? Ah, ha, ha. I'm a Scorpio chat. I gotta get one of these bitches tatted. I gotta get this shit tatted, bro. I just gotta get it tatted, bro. Just, I just feel like we're that. Like, 
Imagine this is the second most powerful African animal. I gotta get this bitch tatted. It's just gotta happen. It's gotta happen. It's gotta happen, Chad. It's gotta happen. Covered in small hairs that let it locate prey through vibration. The front of the body is adorned with a pair of huge reddish black pincers. Emperor scorpions are predators who eat their victims. I honestly most of their diet. I see these shit a lot, like on movies and shit like that, and I'm so scared of these things, bro. I'm so scared of these things. I see these shit so many times in movies and shows and shit that we watch. I'm scared of these things. I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm more scared of these than I am of fucking spiders. That should tell you something. It consists of insects, though mice and small lizards are also consumed. They can halt their metabolism and go up to a year without eating. A year without eating? My nigga, what the fuck? Did you hear what it It can halt its metabolism and go a year without eating. Bro, get, this nigga is a cheat code. Get him the fuck up out of here. Their feed provides all the water they require. Adult scorpions use their pincers to capture and crush prey, whilst baby scorpions use their stinger to immobilize it. Africa is home to the emperor scorpion. In the jungle and tropical savanna, burrows are dug. Burrows can be found in the earth, under rocks, logs, termite mounds, and tree roots. Mating occurs throughout the year, though it is most active during the summer. The male snatches the female by the pincers and drags her around when they first meet. Once he has identified an appropriate place, he will implant a spermatophore. The female will then be dragged over the top of it and will be forced into her vaginal opening. After a seven to nine month gestation period, the scorpions will be born. Live baby scorpions are born to the mother and spend their first several weeks on her back. Up to 35 young can be born at any given time. As they mature, they shed their old skin and replace it with a new one. This gradually darkens from white to black as they mature. A newborn enters sexual maturity at the age of four months. Emperor scorpions are nocturnal hunters. Due to their weak eyesight, they rely on their sensory hairs to determine where their prey is. They stay in the burrow all day. Up to 15 scorpions can be housed in a scorpion burrow. Number one, great white shark. While wow. a great white shark in New Jersey inspired the shark in Jaws, the iconic creature is significantly less dangerous. As scientific knowledge about these secretive predators grows, their image as mindless killers diminish. Great white sharks are the world's largest predatory fish, found in cool coastal waters across the world. They grow to be about 15 feet on average, although specimens up to 20 feet long and weighing 5,000 pounds have been observed. Their upper bodies are slate gray to blend in with the rocky coastal sea floor, but their name comes Chat, you see this person right here? Look at, look at, look at their skin tones. Chat, you see this person right here? Look at they fucking skin tone. I'm not swimming with no fucking sharks. What's wrong with you? She think it's a shorty kind of thing. Hey, I don't give a goddamn about none of that. I'm not swimming. This is number one on the list. And you dapping this nigga up on a daily. You dapping this nigga up like y'all friends. This is the number one predatory predator. My skin tone is white, but my features is nigga. Okay? Okay? I am nigga. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? I'm not swimming with no goddamn sharks, bro. You're bugging if you do that shit. You're bugging if you do that shit. Fuck that, bro. No, bro. They holding hands. They holding hands, bro. Ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Comes from their white underbelly. They are torpedo-shaped swimmers with powerful tails that can propel them up to 15 miles per hour through the water. When attacking prey from below, they can even exit the water completely and beach like whales. Their mouths are aligned with up to 300 serrated triangular teeth placed in multiple rows, boy, no way, and they have boy. an extraordinary sense of smell to find prey, making them highly adapted predators. They even have organs that can detect the small electromagnetic fields that animals produce. Boy, Other ain't no way, boy. Mollusks and marine birds are among the Look prey. at this nigga's teeth! Yo, chat, look at his teeth, bro. Chat. Look at his teeth, bro. This nigga's teeth is protruding out his mouth. Please look at the look at this nigga's teeth, my boy! Teeth is outside the mouth like these. Okay? No shot. And they just chilling. Look at the look at the people sitting around. I don't know where you are, 
But wherever you are, you're bugging. Look at these niggas. Bugging. Yo, if you just... I, you're bugging. I'm sorry, but no. Fuck that. Fuck. Fuck that. Sea lions, seals, and small-toothed whales like orcas are all food for larger white sharks. The species has also been observed eating the carcasses of deceased whales. Great white sharks are responsible for a third to half of the 100 or so shark attacks that occur each year around the world. The majority of these, on the other hand, aren't lethal. According to research, great white sharks, who are inherently infested, frequently taste bite and then release their human prey. Although this isn't a particularly comforting distinction, it does indicate that humans aren't on the great white's menu. Experts claim fatal attacks are usually examples of mistaken identity. When viewed from below, swimmers and surfers no, I don't give a goddamn. You must. So what you're saying to me is that you mistakenly ate me. You, these niggas be eating humans on. Their nah, bro. Chat, 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 chat. The, they eat humans on accident. Chat. They eat humans on accident. They eat niggas on accident. I don't want to be. I don't want to be a part of none of that shit y'all got going on. On oh, you won't you won't bite my fucking leg off on accident. Accident. It was. Hey, my bad, my nigga. Fuck you, mean my bad, my nigga. Oh hell no, hell hell no. You ain't about to bite my leg off on accident. And you know, you don't even want to eat me, my nigga. So you spit my leg out, and now my leg is floating in the goddamn ocean somewhere. Because you ain't even have a taste for me. You just bit my leg off. My bad, my G. Boy, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Hey, ain't no way, boy. Boy, boy ain't no way, boy. What is you talking about, bro? No, sir. Oh, no, sir. Oh, an accident? Oh, nah. Favorite prey, seals. Oh, nah. I don't want to know. I must admit, oh, nah. some of these creatures gave me goosebumps. My favorite has to be the silverback gorilla because of its muscular frame and be- Hey, chat. I used to- I, I still watch Nick Merckx to this day, and he thinks a silverback gorilla can beat a full-grown grizzly. What y'all think, chat? Y'all think a grizzly is beating a silverback gorilla? Be honest. Be honest. Is a grizzly beating a silver is is a grizzly beating a silver bat gorilla? Let me know. Behavior. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? I don't even know, bro. Well, that's our countdown of the 15 most powerful African animals. Shit. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like I and will. let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos I'm and subscribe already subscribed, to be part of the bro. fun. Click on the notification Shit, icon I love so you can videos. see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now. I love these videos, bro. Not even gonna hold you. I love these type of videos because they're so fucking fascinating. But fuck that, all right? But me and chat is out of here, man. 15 most powerful African animals. You know what I'm saying? WVID, I enjoyed every minute of that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let me know how you felt about it. Before you do, though, show some love to this video. Show some love to the channel by subscribing, turning on notifications, and coming over to Twitch to show some love. You know what I'm saying? But coconuts kill more people than great white sharks. Seriously? The more you know. But we up out of here, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourselves a, a good one. You know what I'm saying? And uh, big pieces. Big pieces.